Aquarius, welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. I hope you guys are doing great. And I thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming to my channel. We're going to go ahead and get started. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If at any time you resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit the like button. Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're interested in a personal reading, you will find those on my website. Link is in the description box below. Currently, I just today started, ooh, um, started a sale. My birthday is coming up, and so I always do a discount on my website. So um, all readings right now are 40% off the original price. So if you want a personal reading, head on over there. Use the code Taurus to check out. And we're going to go ahead and jump into it here. If you need to uh, view reviews from previous clients, most of my reviews are on Etsy. Okay, my page and profile is still up, but I'm not selling anything on Etsy, but there's over 300 reviews there. There are some reviews on my website, but my website is fairly new. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this and see what is the energy surrounding Sag and what does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Creativity. So there could be something that you're in the process of um, bringing to fruition, like a new idea, something with work, happiness. Somebody here could be an artist of some sort, like your joy comes from creating. Somebody could be an electrician or do something like that, an inventor. And then you have reflection and stop. Okay. So your intuition feels a little blocked right now. It's due to some type of anxiety that's getting in the way. Your anxiety creates a void in your confidence, which then makes you build a wall for protection. But then that wall's negative aspects is that it stops you from listening to your intuition. That was deep. <clears throat> Spirit saying, stop doing that. Um, you are your happiest when you are creating an expression of who you are. Like you're taking your inside and, and creating it on the outside. There's something that you need to really get back into the habit of. Or there's something that you need to show others that you've been hiding for a long time. What's the current energy around Sagittarius? The Knight of Pentacles. So something's been taking a long time to grow or to get, to gain stability. What does uh, Sagittarius need to let go of? What's falling away? The King of Pentacles. Mm. To always be in control. There's something here because what you need to develop is the five of swords and the five of swords is about headaches and manipulation because, because of somebody never like can't even tell the truth. And I feel like spirit is wanting you to reflect on how you get yourself, you, you get yourself in certain situations that you don't want to be in and spirits needing you to take accountability for that. Yeah. Cause they want, they're, they're trying to get you to focus on an ending cause they're wanting you to Walk through a portal to a new way of being. Yeah, three of cups, celebration. Justice on the bottom with the ten of wands and the five of wands. So there's going to be some type of um, decision made to bring peace into a conflicting situation where it felt like everybody was bumping heads or nobody could come to some type of agreement here. <clears throat> what is this Knight of Pentacles? For Sag, what is this Knight of Pentacles doing? What's it bringing in? Profession. So you could have been looking for other jobs. Maybe you had more than one job here. You could be traveling for your job, and it's just kind of like you're kind of getting a little bit tired of it. You got mask here. Yeah, it's inconsistent. These offers that are coming in or these jobs that you're getting... They're inconsistent. Like they keep seeming like a blessing, but it's just, it, it almost felt like it was taking you a little bit farther away from your goal.
A lot of family issues have been coming up in my readings this past week. I don't know if you like help with something with your family financially here. Okay, but it's like that's your goal, you know, but now all of a sudden it's like something's got to stop. You're hesitating. But something's got to stop because it's draining you. The answer is yes, the situation or event is right on track. Abundance, see, so you have some type of blessing coming, but it's been taking too long because I don't know if someone was inconsistent with your job or you were struggling with finding a job. Yeah, see, a decision has been made. So there's an offer that's going to be accepted here. It could even be some type of investment. But I feel like for a while you may have felt like somebody wasn't paying you what you deserved or something along those lines, but a decision is being made to, to bring order back into your life or restore order back when it comes to finances, perhaps, because there seems to be a strong focus on stability and finances here. Spirit is saying what's falling away is this King of Pentacles. Somebody could lose a father. There could be a father figure. Um, maybe it has to do with, you know, determining where his assets go. What is this King of Pentacles for what Sagittarius needs to let go of? I feel like it's also the need to always be in control or to be like, I don't know if you were handing out money to people, like to help people, which is great. You should do that, but don't do it at the expense where you don't have anything now for yourself. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? There's something like a, some type of curse with your finances here, misfortune with the stability. Sagittarius, someone's feeling like they're a failure here. What is this about? Why do you need to let go of this? Like, don't have any sort of lack mentality when it comes to your expansion, your growth, and your investments. Because somebody feels like one of, there was a catastrophe here, like I said, in an investment. And you got to let go of that. Because you're going to win. Whatever it is. If there were legal issues, if there was some type of legal issue here, Sagittarius, it, it's, it's going to be made it's in your... Yeah, there was. Somebody was trying to do some type of... Um, energy work on this to prevent you and you've got to let that go and rise above it because <clears throat> whatever you deserve whatever you need it's coming to you Ooh we but you have to let it go don't part i don't think that you are partaking in this sagittarius because this is what spirit is telling you to let go of so if for some reason someone watching this was partaking in some type of ritual of removing money from somebody else it's going to come back to you. And it doesn't even have to be money if you were just like manipulating somebody out of their happiness or their abundance. And, I, and I'm not saying it was you, but I've got to say what I'm seeing. Because a decision is being made where a blessing is going to be coming. But spirit is like, you got to let go of whatever this crap is over here. Yeah, do the right thing is what it says. Elevate your mood. Tension and strain over money and finances here for sure. There could be something sudden that's going to be launched or set in motion. This could be a backfire. This could be a backfire that's coming back. Clarify this, thank you. Continue to push forward. You have bodybuilder here. Yeah, see, somebody made a really big mess by getting themselves complicated in a situation and connecting themselves energetically to a situation that they should not have. And it's creating a lot of tension, a lot of pressure. And now whatever direction, spirit wants you to let go of it because it's gonna pull you in another direction. There's something going on here that maybe you are unaware of and you do have the strength to push through yet. Yeah, Capricorn energy, so karma. That makes sense then with the spell work. This was something that had a hold on you. I don't know how you got involved in it, but spirit is saying you gotta let it go. It's gonna be very intense and its purpose is to create some type of resistance in you being able to, to grow and or move forward, okay? What is this five of swords? 
walk away from from any type of conflict lies manipulation don't get involved in the back and forth because mm -hmm. it, it's getting to be too much this five of swords comes with it's too much sometimes you feel obligated that you've got to say something or have the last word don't ignore it because look at this person is disturbed spiritually disturbed and the more you interact you're interacting with a demon you're interacting with somebody who has demons that they have not yet um demonstrated that they have control over them okay the word demonstrated write it out it's demonstrated you straighten up your demons you can't you that's why you have to demonstrate you have to show that you put in the work to to healing yourself uh yeah look at i told you all this person is trying to do is create disasters and frustration and you have to develop the character to pay no mind to what's being talked about and what's being said it doesn't matter because whatever it is it's lies and illusions to try to get you off track mm -hmm. goal is goal and its purpose is to overwhelm you and to stress you out to make you pull out of a situation here introvert spirit says make your focus be privacy and separate and remove yourself from any sort of community or people that creates a hostile environment look at all of this what is going on it's just justice nightmare bully commitment illness like somebody is committed <clears throat> To being a nuisance somebody's committed to causing problems or arguing and spirit is saying you will have the last laugh but you've got to rise above it clarify please yeah cross you gotta make a sacrifice let it go release it breaking free Strong Pisces energy. Yeah, moving on. Spirit's like, you've got to develop the ability to move on. All right, every everything is just an experience. Keep going forward. Somebody here could be extremely inflexible. Like they don't know how to go with the flow. And that's why Spirit is wanting you to distance yourself. But you're going in a new direction. There's a whole new endeavor that's coming your way. Clarify this, please. For Sagittarius, what's going on? Regret and remorse. So somebody's in a lot of sadness for what they did or how they treated you. You are healing. You've made great progress on this healing journey. Trust your intuition. Listen to your gut feeling. You can trust it. Yeah, new love, new abundance is coming in. There's a person who likes to trigger you emotionally. And Spirit is saying, do not trust them. This cycle has ended. Allow it to end allow it to release allow yourself to move forward because it, it's like a game to this person you need to be focused on the world endings are always new beginnings and you're walking through a portal of a new beginning here with the world yeah you're closing out a nightmare there was suffering a lot of persecution you were in some type of compromising situation. There could have been a third party here. But see, everything is going to work out. You have okay. You're really okay. It's just challenging right now because you're actually trying to release yourself from this situation. You may feel like you're under the microscope. Like every, I feel like someone is just going over, detailing every little thing that you did, Sagittarius. And it's... That could even be something with court. Within a few weeks, this situation is going to develop more within a few weeks. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety and fear. And you've got to release that. I see that. There's so much fear and anxiety about how this situation is going to play out in the next few weeks. Something is very repetitive, but it needs time to de-escalate because somebody's upset. There it is, ritual. I told you. Somebody's doing some type of ritual.
don't associate your, whatever the ritual is it's not for good and that's why spirit wants you to put an ending to it spiritual insight sapphire wise judgment holy divine favor make the right decision you're being warned against this, whatever it is. Something that you're trying to create. I feel like someone's trying to take it or they're trying to recreate something. It just doesn't feel good to me. And you have to distance yourself from these people or this energy. Pisces energy again. See, something in the dark is being done. You are a healer. Stop doubting your gifts. It's like they want to take your energy. <clears throat> there it is you are under attack spiritual warfare okay so amp up your protection prayers whatever this person i feel like somebody might ask you to participate this is a karmic relationship lies um what participate in some type of i don't know ritual I, that's what i'm getting okay that, that's not gonna be for everybody but don't participate in it because it's to take something from you what is this Three of Cups, please? Live and learn. You live and learn. You had an experience here with a group of people. Again, has to do with creativity. You may have been trying to do some type of project with them and then you realize these people are actually trying to take from me. They're trying to take my ideas. They're trying to steal from me and say that they were yours. Yeah. It was a group of people here. And they're angry and they're upset. Because again, this person wants to take from you. They're going to try to apologize, but you have stuck. Don't, because again, this it, it's all a ploy and a plot to get you stuck. Mm -mm -mm. Then you got bully. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. These people aren't for you, Sagittarius. Keep moving to the top. Don't allow yourself to be dragged down by these this energy. You have the white rabbit. So yeah, see, some type of spark of curiosity came to you. That's the most high coming in to make adjust adjustments here, repair man, to fine tune, heal and fix the situation and to fix you so that your mindset and your vision can be restored so that you can see what's really taking place. That's the, the justice is coming in because you're getting upgraded, but you've got to move away from the, yeah, innovator. You're building and creating something. You have a new idea that is yours and somebody is trying to steal it. They don't understand how you've been able to get all this information or why you're so talented. So they, this community keeps wanting to bring you back in. I'll be careful. I will be careful. <clears throat> But it's like a groundbreaking development or something like that that's coming through. What is Spirit saying? You need to practice detachment. Don't be connected to this, to those people. Protect your energy. Put on God's armor. Shield yourself. That's all, that's, that's all we need to know. All right, let's pick a light code here from the little book of light codes for Sagittarius, please, in regards to the situation. Henema. Okay, so somebody here is healing sexual abuse and trauma. <clears throat> Every single person experiences at least one abusive or traumatic sexual event. That can be even repetitive partners. That is sexual abuse, just so you know. All right, this is the image that you need to meditate on. I'm going to read to you what it says. Um, Acting out in ways that lack respect towards ourselves and others is a sign of the times in which we live. In some family units, family members will repeat ancestral patterns until one brave soul decides that enough is enough. And it will then take on the responsibility of healing not only themselves, but also the relations who came before them and those who will come after for those willing to take on healing, abuse, and trauma, sexual or otherwise, the universe commends you for your courage and stands with you in your process of acceptance, release, and empowerment. This is a noble healing and is a solid step towards self-responsibility and taking back one's power. The energy that we carry within and around us is attractive. Do you know what that means? It doesn't mean attractive, you look good. It means that it attracts like. Like attracts like. So um, there's no sense carrying forward traumatic energy 
if you are actively choosing to attract a life free from pain and suffering. All right. So this is the symbol that you can focus on and meditate on. There's somebody here who needs to heal. We all do from sexual abuse and trauma. We often think that sexual abuse and trauma is somebody who like, you know, took advantage of us or molested us. And it's not. We can create sexual trauma ourselves by having too many partners, by not respecting our body. Every time we have sex with somebody, we literally absorb their energy. You become one. Then you walk around with all this anxiety, this depression, making bad decisions. You've now got a demon of lust inside of you and you don't know what's going on because the world doesn't teach you how to properly manage this energy and expel and dispel of this energy. So um, I would remove yourself from some, somebody could have been doing sex magic on you and that's what that ritual was that I'm tapping into. Whatever it is, you need to disconnect and detach yourself so that you can heal because you have something positive here, something that you create, something that you build, something that you're supposed to bring out into the 3D. And these people want to steal it from you. All right, Sagittarius, I send you so much love on this journey and I look forward to hearing from you. I'll see you guys next week.